नमस्कार वेलकम टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट माई सेल्फ उमा शंकर दास इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर वेदर हेवी रेनफॉल हेज बीन विटनेस आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ओवर ओडिशा आसाम मेघालय ऑल्सो थंडरस्टम लाइटनिंग गस्टिव इन चब्जर्स डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री फॉर द वेदर सिस्टम दैट इज सिनप्टिक आस्पेक्ट इफ यू लुक एट देर इज बीन ऑब्जर्व साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन इन लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द एटमोसफियर इवन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री वन ओवर नॉर्थ वेस्ट राजस्थान Uh, and others over northwest uttar pradesh also over northeast assam and another over northeast madhya pradesh apart from that a trough line that runs from east bihar to north interior karnataka that is at lower troposphere level apart from that also another trough line is observed over around 87 degree north of latitude 22 degree north in middle and upper tropospheric level because of this system we are anticipating there is be a likely of increase in rainfall activity with isolated heavy falls very likely over south south peninsula and northeastern trend from 10th june if we talk about the forecast of temperature the temperature likely to rise by 2 to 4 degree over northwest india during next 3 days over central india during next 4 days and over east india to by 2 to 3 degree during next time. remaining part of the days there is no significant change and particularly over southern and northeastern trend there is no significant change in the maximum temperature during because of this rise in temperature we are anticipating there is possibility of heat wave condition very likely to prevail over west rajasthan during 8 to 11 over punjab haryana and west up over during 9 to 11 apart from that east uttar pradesh and north madhya pradesh during on 9th and 10th of the uh, june if we talk about the alert for next 24 hours heavy rainfall alert has been issued particularly for the madhya maharashtra and uh, mizoram nagaland and tripura apart from that there is possibility of isolated thunderstorm activity over central india particularly maharashtra and uh, madhya pradesh region apart from that hot and humid condition likely over uh, odisha during next 3 days that is 7th 8th and 9th and over uh, coastal andhra pradesh and tamil nadu during next 2 days that is uh, 7th and 8th apart from that the thunderstorm activity likely to continue over these parts during next 7 days if you talk about our day 2 there is a, Uh, possibility of um, uh, isolated heat wave condition over the west rajasthan also the possibility of dust rising wind that is wind speed reaching th- 30 to 40 kmph over this region and uh, thunderstorm activity likely to continue on day 2 and day 3 as well but the distribution wise if you to spread of heat wave condition likely to increase over the north western parts particularly punjab haryana uh, and west to uh, uh, rajasthan uttar pradesh northern parts of madhya pradesh on day 3 that is on 9th and the thunderstorm activity continued over northeastern as well as southern peninsula region and central parts of the country if you talk about the heat wave on day 4 that is this heat wave condition likely to continue on day 4 as well but slight reduction on day 5 that is it will be uh, there will no heat wave particularly over the madhya pradesh and apart from that the Uh, east uttar pradesh however remaining part like punjab haryana west uttar up and rajasthan likely to continue heat wave condition day 5 as well thunderstorm activity continue over eastern uh, also southern peninsula and apart from that uh, also over the northeastern trend. but heavy rainfall spell likely to start over you know, southern peninsula from 10th that is over kerala and Tan- tamil nadu there is possibility of isolated heavy rainfall activity as well as arunachal pradesh and assam meghalaya also on 10th 11th if you talk about the spread of heavy rainfall activity likely to increase the surrounding sub regions like interior karnataka uh, also rayal sima coastal andhra pradesh tamil nadu and kerala in northeastern trend if you talk about most of the sub region they like to to get isolated heavy rainfall activity on 11th also on day 6 and day 7 that is on 12th and 13th there is a possibility of heavy to very heavy rainfall activity that is particularly on 12th over kerala and uh, coastal andhra pradesh कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड नॉर्थ इंटरियर कर्नाटका अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट कोंकण गोवा मध्य महाराष्ट्र कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश रॉयल सीमा साउथ इंटरियर कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु लाइकली टू गेट आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी आल्सो नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स लाइकली टू गेट आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ऑन 12th एज वेल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ऑन डे 7 दैट इज 13th दिस हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी एट आइसोलेटेड प्रोकेस वेरी लाइकली ओवर कर्नाटका आल्सो ओवर द Kerala region and uh, isolated heavy rainfall activity Konkan Goa Madhya Maharashtra Andhra Pradesh Tamil Nadu also Arunachal Pradesh Assam Meghalaya and uh, 
Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura region. And uh, also there is possibility of thunderstorm activity over uh, Bihar, East UP and uh, uh, Uttarakhand both on 12th and 13th. For detailed information you can follow us in mosam.imd.gov. You can also follow us on X, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Namaskar.